Salt Springs Recreation Area. I'd say Salt Springs Recreation Area is a win. Yes. <laughs> As you can tell, the rangers were very friendly and helpful. And all joking aside, we did have reservations so the check-in process was very smooth. When you first enter the park, you would turn right to get to the spring or turn left for the campground. They have 54 primitive sites that you'll pass first. Then you'll see the 106 full hookup RV sites, which cost $34 per night. The roads are plenty big, and even though there are a lot of trees, we had no clearance issues. So Salt Springs Campground is very big rig friendly. The sites themselves feel very open, but since they're rather large, you don't really feel too close to your neighbor, and getting backed in and set up was a breeze. So far, Salt Springs has been really nice, full hookup. It's a little bit more of a crazy weekend feeling environment. This place was full yesterday when we got here because we arrived on a Saturday. This is obviously a popular weekend spot because all these places were filled and now, here it is, Sunday afternoon. But there's your bathhouse. They're not air conditioned, but they're in pretty decent shape. Your full hookup with the threaded base again with the little sink. I love having a tub there. Fifty amp. trash and they do give strict instructions for bears because there are bears in the area never leave food out gotta be responsible sunday was our first chance to actually visit the spring and while you are provided a parking pass you can only use it on weekdays so you have to walk or ride a bike about a third of a mile from the campground to get there on the weekend but it's worth it It's only slightly salty. Yeah. It's not like in the ocean or the Gulf. So Sunday is salt okay, screen. Okay, let's go take a photo There's our little photo bomb.
The spring actually opens up into a lake, so you'll see people pull their boats up to go for a swim, but after spending time in the 72 degree water, you can get a little chilly. So it's nice that there are quite a bit of picnic and seating areas around the spring to get out and warm up. But instead, we decided just to head back to the campground and go for a quick walk before calling it a day. Sites 1 through 40 are right this way. Well marked, full hookup. Pretty well spaced out too. Squirrel. Last morning, so we're gonna go down to the spring one last time, see if it's less crowded on a Monday morning. So actually at the springs, they have a shop where you can buy Diving supplies, masks, snorkel, floaties. They have restrooms with changing rooms, which is nice. And then leads out to the actual spring. Alright, so we all know this is going to be cold, so let's suck it up. I really hope this works and this doesn't want to go for it. Let's go to the left. Okay. No. Can I push him? No! You are a brave soul, Dad. <laughs> So I guess Monday morning's the time to come. We have the spring yes. to ourselves. So we're gonna get going to our next stop, which is Flagler Beach. Get a couple things wrapped up here. Finishing up dumping the tanks. Final walk around. Tight. Things up. We're ready to go.